right. Um, we're uh, doing the, the Moon Tower in Austin next week and uh, so many uh, different shows. But I just found out that the, um, uh, the, the crowdsource sh- show that we're doing Thursday, April 25th uh, at Antone's, Matt Bearden is coming out and doing a set too, and he's fantastic. Oh, nice. And yeah. you know, last year he just blew me away how great he is. So that made me really, really happy. That's going to be a really fun night. That's awesome all the way around. But uh, and then also, um, I don't know whether you know this or not. Chris Stanley has put together a song it and did? what he called an MTV video. Yeah. Okay. And he had me be in a couple <laughs> scenes with him. Okay. So uh, I've heard this song. We recorded this. Uh, well, the, the, we, we shot the video parts uh, right after um, we did the Unmasked on Friday. And uh, some of it's in the village, but some of it's in your home of Brooklyn, your semi home. It's uh, my my summer my summer in Brooklyn, Ron. And yeah. so yes, I, I found some spots in Brooklyn that I had access to to. Uh, now, to get I've known shots. you a long time. What makes you think that you're a singer now? <laughs> this is all very very surprising. <laughs> well, you know, I I'm excited for Moon Tower, and I want everyone else to be excited for Moon Tower. And I thought this... that does, doesn't answer it though. What made you think mm. I'm going to do a song? Well, I uh, had some success with uh, the jingle for Keswick Theater. That's why I figured, why not give it, do what it do again? What do you mean success? <laughs> How are you defining that? We did not yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> I won the jingle contest. It was a contest for it. Yeah. Okay, that well, is true. Well, the other two guys just really stiffed it. So. <laughs> yeah, I think they kind of lacked an understanding of what a jingle was. So by default, I so feel like this is going to go up on Instagram, Chris. This is going to go up on Instagram. Yes, Bennington SXM on Instagram. All right, so we'll can uh, we till this drops? Yeah, it's uh, we're waiting for it to drop at any second now. And this is uh, how technology works mm-hmm. these days of ours. So, uh, Chris, is there a name to this? Well, I call it Ronnie B's Got the Tap. Okay. <laughs> the Tap. Yeah, yeah, that's an odd. Okay. All right. Let's. I'm, uh, I'm excited. So let's here, take a listen. This is here. the debut. Yes, the debut. There's a party at the Moon Tower. Ronnie B's got the tap. He's gonna fill your cup. Antones is the spot. What you think about that? Love it. Ronnie B's sauce in the crowd. April 25th. Thursday, Thursday. April 25th. Make it to the Moon Tower in Austin, Texas. James Brown, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and now Ronnie B. Party at the Moon Tower. Don't be late, y'all. Ronnie B's got the tap. We gonna see you there. Antones is the spot. What you think about that? You gonna fucking love it. AustinTheater.org. Get your badges. Ronnie B, April 25th. Antones. Fuck yeah! (laughs) There's a party at the Moon Tower. Now, normally I go to Earl (laughs) on musical things. And it it alarms me that he's laughing, but I have to say it really does have a good Texas feel about it. That's what I'm, that's what I was going for. I'm going to go for the things I like right away. First of all, your jacket is out of this world. That's the one your mother in law got. Yes, 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 it's fantastic. It's a great jacket, and we beg you to dress in colors. We beg yes, you. Yes, you look so <laughs> great. So good. Two, the thing where you're drinking and the scuzz starts to run out. Yeah, I love that shot. Yeah, love that's it. A terrific shot, Earl. I'm going to go to you. What do you think of uh, Ronnie B's got the tap? It's hilarious. I love it. Hilarious? <laughs> Why would... What is because hilarious? He's going to fuck you up. All right. <laughs> he's going to fucking love it. And you're going to love going to the fucking moon tower. <laughs> right, let's play it one more time. <laughs> okay. see, yeah, I think I need another uh, right. viewing, too. Here's, here's, here's the next. There's a party at the moon tower. Ronnie B's got the tap. He's gonna fill your cup. Antones is the spot. What you think about that? Love it. Ronnie B's sauce in the crowd. April 25th. Thursday, Thursday. April 25th. Make it to the Moon Tower in Austin, Texas. James Brown, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and now Ronnie B. Party at the Moon Tower. Don't be late, y'all. Ronnie B's got the tap. We're going to see you there. 
Tones is the spot. What you think about that? You gonna fucking love it. AustinTheater.org. Get your badges. Ronnie B. April 25th. And Tones. You brought up dot org. Oh, dot org is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Ronnie B's got the tap. Austin Theater dot org. It's um, you know, I am not so braggadocious as this oh, dude. song is. I don't know whether I have the tap but or you've not. Got, you've got a hype man who is for yes. you. That's what's great. Yes, you've got the tap. The party ain't gonna stop. Dude, right. and this is the greatest thing ever. First of all, there's some really amazing dance moments here <laughs> yeah. that are subtle. I mean, they're uh, for for a bold song. There's some yeah. subtle dancing in it. Yeah. Uh, I love dot org. Uh, <laughs> I also realize now, second time around. Like, you're not uh, saucing the crowd. That's just his accent. It's sourcing. But he oh! puts the accent on, yeah. and he's like, he says sauce. Yeah, you're sourcing the crowd, but you're saucing the crowd. That's what Ronnie B's doing. Because at first I was like, he's saucing the crowd. Like, I thought it was a cool new slang. But it's just his his accent is so uh, dead on Yeah, yeah. Uh, that it's genius. Also, uh, I love the use of Western beef. <laughs> That's maybe the best shot in it. The Western beef supermarket, where you see it by. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the weird lighting it's just i mean this is uh like your opus i feel it's this kind is... of there's a very much of uh bukowski meets tom waits yes. here you know uh there's no doubt about it a 844 rock god a 44 rock god we're playing the rock hard but i think in the room we need to smash or trash this thing gail what do you give it this is an absolute smash for me i mean i'm i'm blown away by you thank you very I'm much i'm blown away this is a smash i appreciate that uh what about for you uh, a total smash on every level nothing beats the chris stanley dance <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does that little the dancer. yeah <laughs> there's a little pop there's like a, the jacket on it's perfect it's a great look i worked hard on the dance moves i worked very hard on this I really wanted it to go well. You know what I, I, I love? This is like when somebody comes up with something that I would never think would work, and yet it fucking works, man. It works. Um, Vito, it Vito, says what you don't miss it. It's fucking trash to me. What? Oh, come oh, on, first, man. first off the bat, let's look behind you at the video. He's in front of a clock tower. That has nothing to do with the moon tower. He wasn't going to fly to fucking yeah. Austin. And by the way, I... I, I since I was around in the 80s, you can't judge a song by the video. The video is yeah. what it is. You yeah. can let it's it enhance a, it for you Yeah, if you it's choose. a commercial for the song. And uh, I had no budget on this. It was $2 for that 22 <laughs> of Colt 45, okay? I'm not going to find a moon tower in Brooklyn. I mean, I that's mean, a great shot, though, me in front of the clock tower. I don't get what he's yeah, trying it looks, to do. Yeah, it looks scary, scary almost. Yeah. I don't get what he's trying to do here. I don't get what kind of music it is. I get, I get that fucking ho uh, hip hop rap mix is a big thing right now. It's number one on Billboard, but he's just trying to cash it. You on know what? I think it's more like those Tarantino goes to Austin songs. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. When Tarantino is in Texas, Texas and a whiskey. Yeah, you it's get like that, that vibe. Kind of a fucking Not at all. Scene now. It's just. It's, he doesn't know what he's doing. He has no what? motive. It's just a bunch of non sequiturs, Ron. He's just yelling things that don't make sense in there. Everything makes well, sense. Look, when he told me, because um, that water that I'm pouring out there, yeah. and that was the water that I just had. Yeah. At the, um, that's the water that I took off the stage at the Village Underground. And he's like, just pour out your water. And I'm like, uh, what is this like? Somebody died, but that's supposed to be me filling the cup. Filling the cup. These are metaphors, Ron. All right. right. See, it's, this is above Vito's head, and that's why he's attacking. But there's but no. Why cup. are you so excited? And you're going crazy. <laughs> you <laughs> love that he's filling the cup. Yeah, you're filling the cup for <laughs> all of us. Let me just watch that one moment because it's yeah. so good. You can see the look on my <laughs> yeah. face like, I don't know whether I'm doing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, but Chris is loving loving the way you're filling the cups. Yeah, I'm enjoying it very much so. He's doing a half twerk. Yeah, I'm <laughs> He's twerking He's got a you, half Ron. twerking for you. All right, well, you know what? We're going to take it from the beginning again. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I, I never I let let's... it all come in. All right. There's a party at the Moon Tower. What's happening, Chris? I don't know. Take it from the top. There's a party at the Moon Tower. Ronnie B's got the tap. He's gonna fill your cup. Antones is the spot. 
What you think about that? Love it. Ronnie B's Sauce in the Crowd. April 25th. Thursday, Thursday. April 25th. Make it to the Moon Tower in Austin, Texas. James Brown, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and now Ronnie B. Party at the Moon Tower. Don't be late, y'all. Ronnie B's got the tap. We gonna see you there. Antones is the spot. What you think about that? You gonna fucking love it. AustinTheater.org. Get your badges. Ronnie B. April 25th. Antones. As you can see, any of the stuff that I have was in was shot 25 feet from the cellar. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. It's all very familiar. Yeah. And yet it feels like we're yeah. in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Which is amazing. It's attitude. <laughs> it's the every, you're loving it. I'm huh? loving it. I, the whole thing is just pure attitude. Oh my God. I love it. It seems like both me and Earl are giving full smashes for this. I think Vito's going to come around too, man. No, I'm not coming around on this redneck trash. <laughs> this is you're just jealous. This isn't redneck. I'm just speaking to the people of Austin, Texas, and everyone's going to be at Moon Tower. I wanted to make a great video that promoted Ron. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Vito. First of all, you don't have to apologize. That's just no. one man's opinion. Yeah, okay? he's just a dude. Uh, you it's know, just a fucking troll. Yeah, you're fucking trolling me. Right Everybody now. get. You know, that's how I feel. How you know that you've done something well? You got to have at least one troll telling you and that you're shit. Here's the thing, and this is the other thing. This was a Vito was supposed to be the film guy. You know what I mean? This should have been a concept Vito did. And Chris has been running with this. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's just jelly, Chris. Yeah, he's definitely jelly. Because guess what? I didn't go to film school, Ron. No, what I did? I went to YouTube.com. It's <laughs> a, hey, how do I edit things? Oh, this is how. Now I'm going to start doing it myself. Wow, yeah. It's like kind of on the streets. Yeah. YouTube streets. So YouTube streets. Do you feel like you saved $250,000 <laughs> that oh, yeah. you know, spent? And I got a college education for about twenty grand, and I haven't paid that back yet either. <laughs> how many colleges did you go to again? Oh, two. Dick, <laughs> right? Dick. But his were also accredited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a state school, a city school. They were great. Hunter, Purchase. Mm -hmm. Sunnies and Cunies, that's that's your wheelhouse. That's my thing, and that's why we got this. Ronnie B's got the tap. Mm -hmm. Metaphors. A lot know. of people are bringing up sauce in the crowd, and <laughs> mm -hmm. I paid no attention to it, and then when you said sourcing, yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But either way, it works. I mean, I thought it was just some cool slang that I, I wasn't hip to, some cool Austin, Texas slang. Nice cleavage in that shot right there, Chris. <laughs> look, I'm, oh, look, oh so yeah, what? that does look I'm, good. I'm a larger man. What's the big deal? I'm oh, fine. Those are titties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Vito, you're always giving him props that he's not too titty, but he truly is. Yeah, he's full of titties right there. <laughs> I'm also full of a hit fucking song. All right? And what do you got? You got your well, dick sex, in your hand. Well, sex sells, Chris. Don't Thank, forget yeah, that. So good. this works in your favor, I so think. So what? I'm going to show it off a little bit. I'm surprised the number of people bringing up the titties. <laughs> <laughs> There's so more you can focus on the, in the video. The term seems to be cleavage right now. <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> I want to talk to Hard Rock Johnny since, you know, he's also in the rock and roll business. I mean, no offense to you, Vito, but I'm definitely going to take Earl's opinion, a guy who, mm -hmm. you know, worked with Scott Muni. And I'm going to check in with Hard Rock Johnny, who collects the pants of people <laughs> who make songs. All right, we got Johnny up? Yes. I, I, I've cleared a very large wall in the Hard Rock for a very large pair of pants for the man who sang that song. <laughs> <laughs> it is exciting. all the way smash, 100%. Yes. It's a that smash. That's finally made the big finally pants made the hard rock. on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's a party at the moon tower. Ronnie B's got the tap. I love it. It's catchy. Um, yeah. It is. Hey, uh, here's David in Texas. David, what's up? Hey, guys. I guess uh, I haven't seen the video yet, but I just hear Vito come out railing against Chris being in front of a clock tower and not realizing that uh, there's quite a bit of history with Austin and a clock tower. Oh, great and, call. Oh, the first right. mass shooter in history. Yeah. Edgy, Chris. Edgy choice. Very. It's artistic, really, yeah. in a way that I never thought Chris would have been. Yeah, it's from, subtle. 
Mm-hmm. It is uh, artistic for a man with that much cleavage. Yeah. People are now <laughs> claiming that there's two different places that Chris pushes the cleavage. And that one steel shot, it just looked like you got big titties. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is this uh, clock tower? It's, uh, it's a co-working space now, but it's just like an old uh, clock tower on Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. Yeah. But now it's just like a bunch of random people work there doing random work all day long in like tiny little closets. It's very strange. But then I got access to the roof and thought that was a good shot. Yeah. It's great. Does that I mean, jacket zip? Yeah, it zips, dick. <laughs> all right? I know you went to the gym a couple times. Now I'm fatter than you or whatever. Can I just tell you something? He yeah. is in great shape. I mean, we can yeah. disagree with him, but he looks fantastic. Yeah, I know. He's concentrating on his bod. Yeah. His it's not objective bod. like your video. <laughs> My fucking video. I think it's a hit. Everyone's saying it's a smash. Man, the tits are really out. <laughs> and yeah. The shimmy. the shimmy is one of my favorites. I I didn't say it yet because there's so many uh, there's so many shots in here. But there's a really great face to face shimmy. That's it's <laughs> excellent. Yeah, we're getting into it. All right. This is we're maybe the finish. best thing Chris has ever done. No, it is amazing. <laughs> and I forgot the Keswick Theater one. I literally forgot it. Yeah. 100%. It's out of my mind now. <laughs> well, like, I, I won the contest, so it kind of stuck there. There's a party at, at the, the Moon Tower. Tower. Ronnie, Ronnie B's got, got the tap. tap. What's next? <laughs> He's going to fill your cup. He's going to fill your cup. What, what you think about yeah. that? You're going to fucking love it. <laughs> you are, though. AustinTheater.org. And I love that, you know, I can't get the Austin Theater dot all out of my head, but that's a great thing because, like, yeah. that's where you need to go. You know what I mean? That's like a good jingle for you. Yeah, but no one's going to know what the AUG is. They're going to be misspelling it. <laughs> Austin Theater dot all. <laughs> He's saw some a crowd. Yeah, people are. I never thought you were that going to be that good with accents. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I was. I, I surprised myself, Gail. This uh, this thing came out of you know. You know, my brain. I feel like you're pushing people getting fucked up a lot in this video. And So what? What are you, a fucking... What are you, from AA? The what term... Oh, look, the, the, from the films, there's a party at the Moon Tower. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. And where does that happen? In Austin, Texas. Yeah, true. And what do people do during parties at Moon Towers? Drink, they beer. Have a, they have a couple. Yeah. yeah. You get your cup filled. What do you think about that? <laughs> you're gonna fucking love it. Let's clear our palate a little bit with a little song called Ronnie B's Got the Tap. <laughs> this is going to make me feel better, I think. There's a party at the Moon Tower. Ronnie B's <laughs> Got the Tap. He's going to fill your cup. Anson's is the spot. What you think about that? Love it. Ronnie B's Sauce in the Crowd. April 25th. Thursday, Thursday. April 25th, make it to the Moon Tower in Austin, Texas. James Brown, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and now Ronnie B. Party at the Moon Tower. Don't be late, y'all. Ronnie B's got the tap. We gonna see you there. Antones is the spot. What you think about that? You gonna fucking love it. AustinTheater.org. Get your badges. Ronnie B, April 25th, Antones. Dot org. Dot org. Uh, See, that org. makes it all better for me. Hey, uh, Sean, what's up, buddy? Boy, on the phone, that sounds like a bad church's chicken commercial. You running up? I'm in a pump. Uh, Liz, uh, Liz Sets Fire wants to remind you that if uh, the room's occupied, see if uh, Chris Stanley isn't milking them titties. <laughs> <laughs> There's a party at the, the moon, moon Tower. Ronnie B's got the tap. <laughs> March 8th. <laughs> March 8th. <laughs> Love it. Tried to whisper so much in this one. Try to say the yeah. date. It's yeah. Like, clearly. <laughs> I'm learning, Ron, you know? I don't know. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but it's good. So um, the crowdsource is happening Thursday, April 25th. 9.30. There's going to be a lot of fun. Party at the Moon Tower. I'm also doing an Unmasked with Brad Williams, who's great. Uh, and I'm going to be on the Tim Dillon is Going to Hell <coughs> podcast Thursday, uh, April 25th. So just a couple hours at 6 o'clock, just a couple hours before. Ron Bennington, 
crowdsource. I'm going to be saucing the crowd. You're going to source the crowd, Rob. Saucing. <laughs> saucing the crowd. Um, no, it may have feel like uh, Vito is left out, but Vito brought a beautiful date to the cellar the other night. Did he? Yeah. I saw him as I was coming into town, and I was yelling out. I wasn't that far from him, and it's so fucking noisy in the streets this time of year. Everybody was out in the warmth, but I got a hold of him. Uh, he was riding around on a city bike. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I brought him in uh, to the cellar. Yeah, your set was amazing. You just crushed in there. I was Stop. Just, I've been I've been wanting to see you there since you started, and it was just awesome to be there. It's such a fucking cool room. Yeah, it's a great room. It's you know it's classic. I can't get Earl down there. Um, I'd say something about Chris, but he's too busy making hit songs. I mean, when a friend of yours <laughs> is making hit songs, you gotta you gotta get behind him. Thank you, Ron. Ian had a blast. He was very appreciative. Uh, he couldn't get over how fucking good you are. Oh, is that right? That's nice. He, literally, all he kept saying to me was he kept being like, so he doesn't, like, he doesn't write. Like, that's just him. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. And he goes, that's fucking nothing. And he just, all night, he wouldn't drop it. Everyone thinks that I don't write because I seem so fucking ridiculously con conversational. I look lazy. That's what people <laughs> say. Like Gary Goldman's coming in here today. Everybody thinks that he's, you know, he's an aristocrat sitting there writing with a feather. <laughs> and I'm just some fucking bum off the street yelling out <laughs> shit. Why can't I get you out, Earl? What's the story with you? Um, I can't believe you're not coming to Moon Tower. Yeah, I, I just, uh, just really jammed up. I'm just um, between this and the hard rock. It's just a little crazy right now. Party at the Moon Tower. I don't know the last time that a fucking song got stuck in my head like that. Take that as a compliment. You should. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're a good fucking singer, too. Thank you. I didn't know it had it in me. Not just a good songwriter. Yeah. Singer-songwriter, I guess I can put in my bio now. Filmmaker and editor, too. Thank you, Earl. Thanks for reminding me about that. And what's Vito got? 200 grand in debt and his dick in his face. <laughs> my dick's in my face? Yeah, because you're sucking your own dick. <laughs> Leaving you in the dust. And you're just being a hater by trying to fucking bring me down on a day that everyone should be happy. Well, because it's trash, and I'm just being yeah, honest. But you're with supposed you. to be his best friend. Yeah. Me? No, yeah. I'm Earl's best friend. Oh, boy, thank you. It's... You can't be Earl's best friend. I'm Earl's best friend. Oh, fuck. That's true, too. Right? And you attack Earl about his chip eating habits. No, well, that, was no problem with... that was you. That was you. And today it's crackers, so I can't say anything. Yeah, he I likes to stack. It's I got to lay off the chips for a while. <laughs> Why? Because they caught you? No. Uh, no, I think uh, to prevent the uh, ulcer flare ups. <laughs> Had a little, uh, a little flare up. I think you let them bully you, and that's what's flaring you up. <laughs> I don't think Cheez-Its are going to save you. <laughs> like, there's not a big difference between chips and Cheez-Its, man. I'm the peanut butter crackers, Earl. It's like a little fucking meal. Like, it's like a little fucking meal. Might have to go that route. Well, you got to buy your own because that's for Ron and Gail no, that I got. I understood. <laughs> Very understood. I think you're going to have to grab me one before fucking uh, Gary Goldman gets here. You want to drink as well? All right, let me read some of these things on Instagram. And it seems like... Uh, um, well, I'll just read some of this stuff. John Waz says Western beef. A lot of people excited to see Western <laughs> beef in there. So Bruce says, damn, titties bouncy, bouncy. Check out that cleavage. Uh, Garone says, check out that cleavage. Hey, Al says, uh, hey, now says, uh, boobies on Chrissy. I wish that that wasn't the full effect I, of it. There's so much. Okay. I have titties, but there's so much more than that in this video. Jay Doyle, pal. That come hither cleavage. I'm going to a moon tower anyway, Stankly. No need to oversell. This isn't an oversell. This is an ode. Um, Cam uh, from two says, heavy sea killed this. <laughs> Crowley says, hot <laughs> fire. Uh, Mr. Buddy Lee 99 says, fucking love. Hashtag Vito was an ass. Andy Hogan, Chrissy's milkshake, bringing all the boys to the yard, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, this one says uh, Tig Old Biddies. Okay. All right. Understood. <laughs> Rafferty Anthony says, I think Chris is ripping off Little Nas X. Who the fuck is Little I got Nas the X? horses in the back going around my horse to the Moon Tower, Stanley. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. That, that's that's after my time. Literally after my time. <laughs> that's the number one song on Billboard right now. Um, sounds like James Dolan. <laughs> Albert <laughs> Rose, He's a billionaire. I'll take that as a compliment. Shrek Love said, Ronnie B's sauce in the crowd. Sorry, I'm missing the jizz party. <laughs> now people think I'm going to be shiz jizzing all over everyone. No, sourcing the crowd. I also feel kind of bad. Shrek does want to be jizzed on. <laughs> uh, Mother Leeds Band says, this track fucking slaps. I'd say that's a good thing. Uh, Joe Smith, 19, Western Beef Classy. Um, Paul Marcott. Photography, smash. All right. Lake Laker fan, 1717. Wow, that slobbish oaf can really sing. Stanley rules. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll concentrate on the second part of that comment. Jonathan Homer just says party at the moon tower. Shut up and don't follow. This might be better than Tiger at the Masters. Nice. Here's uh, Jonah Del Genio. Um... Chris headed to the pump room. It's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking me. Uh, Louis uh, Ponce says Mr. B's got the moves. It would have been easier if I would have known what the music was, but it's still, you know what I mean? I just let myself be directed. Or Thank I you. was old Hollywood on that. I loved it. Um, the B C says, is it possible to both love and hate this at the same time? Why would you hate it? Yeah, I feel the same way. Concentrate on love. Uh, asked one gave you five uh, flyers. All right. Fires. That's fire. Okay. Suit and name says, sucking on Pep's titties like he <laughs> wanted you to. Calling him all the time. Like Blondie, check out his piss farty behind. It leaks all the time. Oh, my God. I would have loved some of these. Vito is hating. It's the best thing ever, uh, Chris has ever done. Said Kula. I'm proud of it, Ron. I'm not going to lie to you. I was glad to hear from Mother Leeds, man. Yeah. I love those. I love that kid.